Uh, some games of the tournament, uh, Ruben, uh, that you might have mentioned. Uh, Brazil obviously showing fantastic form. France dominant in their win against Poland. Um, any any others that you care to kind of like talk about? Portugal added tonight. I think that the Portugal without Cristiano Ronaldo is a serious contender for the title. We have to see how they how Morocco will show up against them. For Morocco, it's it's a bonus match. Although they will give everything like they do every game. But if they go through, it's it's uh, they're already in the semis. And the way they attack tonight, it will be really difficult to stop if it will be or against France or against England, who are not that sure in defense. So, yeah, Portugal we can add. And England, of course, because England was also impressive until now. Hang on a minute, though. You are, you're kind of uh, glossing over Morocco's chances. Not at all, not <laughs> at all, not at all. I think that, that Portugal will be the clear favorite for what we've seen tonight, especially because what they have is goal-scoring uh, players. I mean, that's the whole difference between Spain and, and Portugal, of course. There's so many people who can score a goal in that Portuguese squad. Having said that, the defense of Morocco is the best defense in the tournament so far. So it will be a real interesting clash to see if they can resist against that uh, that Portuguese team that already had their best goal. May, uh, they already played their best game of the tournament. I think they cannot top this. So yeah, uh, let's see. Let's see. Morocco, they, they, they seem to impress us and to surprise us every time again. So it won't be easy at all. But Portugal, how they play tonight, they could be a real contender to win the World Cup. So an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. <laughs> uh, let's hear from Simon. Just a quick one. Sai, back to you. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, Sai. No. If, if he can't hear me, I don't think he's quite uh, connected there, just outside the stadium. Uh, let's just uh, try out Selena. I want to get her uh, opinion. Uh, Selena, um, just uh, in terms of who you looking forward to in this next quarterfinal clash, uh, what game stands out for you? Well, the next round, I mean, we have so many uh, big uh, standout games now. It's really getting more in very interesting uh, in the quarterfinals. I'm going to have to say uh, France-England is a big one for so many reasons, not just uh, uh, here at France 24 with our English and uh, French channel, but also for the fact that this is uh, the first time, at least in my lifetime, that I will have seen them uh, play against each other in a competitive game. Uh, we've seen so much talk today. I was actually at the uh, French uh, press conference earlier, a lot of talk about uh, this uh, game play being played out on the, the wings. So it'll be a very interesting game I think uh, to watch a hundred percent here at France 24 of course all eyes are going to be on that game a Saturday evening just a quick one Ruben a standout game for you yeah it will be France England uh, that's that will be the game it's the first time in World Cup history that they will play each other so it will also truly be, it will be a historical game so that's that's fantastic um, Morocco Portugal will be the most interesting game I think for Morocco as the as the surprising team in this whole in this whole tournament Netherlands Argentina is a fantastic game because of the history and then there is Brazil also well the the top favorite before this tournament meeting against the darkest of dark horses or Croatia who we seem to forget every time but who were already in the final uh, four years ago and who are again in the quarter so they deserve a lot more respect I think for the, their achievements for such a small country. 100% Croatia there you saw those results there are those quarterfinal fixtures to look forward to Croatia taking on Brazil Netherlands Argentina Morocco Portugal and then England France of course we are going to have all of those results uh, coming up for you here on France 24 in the week to come then it's semi-final time of course so much football action and we can't wait to have you with us well, that is all that we have of time for this evening here on this world cup special ruben thank you it's been an absolute pleasure once again selena thanks to you and simon who is also in doha it's been a wild ride and we can't wait to have more we'll see you soon